In this video, sped up to four times normal speed, researchers study pup retrieval in mice, a behavior in which mothers collect pups that have gone astray and bring them back into the nest. A researcher puts a pup into the cage, and the pup produces a distress call that prompts the mother to search for and retrieve the isolated pup back to the red nest in the bottom left-hand corner of the screen. This mouse is part of the Lactating Mothers experimental group, which consists of mice that have recently given birth, and demonstrates the expected behavior for pup retrieval. The second group tested was naive virgins. These female mice have no experience with pups. As before, a researcher places a pup in the cage, but the naive virgin mouse does not retrieve the pup and does not respond even when multiple pups are present in the cage. To test whether the behavior could be instigated in naive virgins, a virgin mouse was placed with a lactating mother and her pups for the four days after the mother had given birth. This new test group, called experienced virgins, was tested in the same behavioral assay as the previous groups. Here, we see the experienced virgin retrieves the pups that the researcher places in the cage, similar to the lactating mothers. This graph illustrates how long it took each experimental group to retrieve each pup. While lactating mothers retrieved pups more quickly than experienced virgins, experienced virgins did retrieve pups, unlike their naive counterparts, and did so with increasing speed as pups were placed in a cage. From this, the researchers concluded that the establishment of maternal behaviors, such as pup retrieval, is independent of pregnancy and childbirth. Instead, Interaction and exposure to pups is enough to induce such behaviors, even though it is not as robust as in lactating mothers. Next, the researchers wanted to study the impact of pup odors on retrieval behavior. To do this, they washed the pups in warm water to disrupt the pup's natural odor. They then performed the behavior assay as before. Unlike in the previous experiment with the unwashed pups, only 60% of lactating mothers retrieved the washed pups. The lactating mothers that did retrieve washed pups were significantly less efficient in retrieval than the lactating mothers that retrieved the unwashed pups. This indicates that pup odor plays a significant role in triggering this behavior. Researchers then studied the auditory response to a pup's distress call in each of the groups. Using in vivo cell-attached recordings in anesthetized mice, Researchers measured the response probabilities of neurons in the primary auditory cortex, or A1, to a pup distress call. Lactating mothers showed a tenfold greater response to the distress calls relative to naive virgins. Experienced virgins showed a fourfold greater response than naive virgins, albeit significantly lower than the lactating mothers. The auditory and olfactory systems play important roles in keeping mothers tuned to alert calls and the smells of displaced pups. While experienced virgins perform below the level of lactating mothers, they do show some plasticity, which indicates that some of these factors are independent of pregnancy and childbirth. 